I voted present. So you got to understand, you go through the alphabet, you start at A, and you move your way forward through the alphabet. By the time it got to the letter N, uh, I voted present. I think there were four others, maybe five others. At that point in time, we already had upwards of 20 uh, that said that they could not support uh, Tom Emmer for speaker. And this was a roll call vote. This was no, you know, secret ballot. This was everybody having the stand. Uh, in Indiana, I think there were maybe 28 or so that stated they're going to choose someone else other than Tom Emmer. I think Johnson had some. I think uh, Jim Jordan had the most with about 12 or 15. So this is, this is we are again back to where we started. This is where we're at. So now you have eight willing to, to step up and try to provide that leadership, and uh, we're not there. So now what are we going to do? We're going to find another round. Let's go into the, the third round of draft choices, right, and find people willing to do this again. I don't know. Is it not the case that Mr. Emmer is going to decide whether to go to the floor? I, if he wants to go to the floor, he can go to the floor. Uh, if we go to the floor, you know what I'm doing. I mean, it's make no mistake. I'll be nominating Donald J. Trump. So you're, you would definitely not vote for Mr. Emmer? I will be going. I told Tom Emmer I won't be the one that would tank him. Right? If he can get to 216, he could probably have me at 217. But when it gets to my name and there's 10, 12, 15, I think I think Donald Trump is their answer. Why is there so much opposition ever at this point? I don't know. I mean, he uh, obviously he's uh, uh, people are talking. He's had some issues uh, with the former president. I think some of the comments that he's made in the past. Uh, I'm not going to get specific, but I think it's causing him some problems today. Why am I opposing him? I didn't oppose him. I just said there's no way. I don't see how he gets to 217. I just don't 216. How's he going to do it? If anybody out here, you got an answer to that, folks? So you You've got 20 something out there. What? You don't see anybody either change their minds or anybody them? Well, I, you, usually you change your mind when you go from a secret ballot to a roll call. The roll call, there were like 28 that said either no, someone else, present. How are you going to dwindle that down to four or five? We keep asking, we Well. I kind of like the idea of Donald J. Trump, quite honestly. He's the leader of our party. I've said that from the beginning. I'll continue to say it. We threw our all-stars out now. The top three we had with the speaker, with the majority leader, with uh, Jim Jordan. Now we've got eight others, great candidates, Mike Johnson, all these others. And we've rejected those. I mean, what are we going to do? Go down and just put everybody in the name in the damn hat? Maybe for the first time in the history of our conference, we should consider somebody from the outside. I suggest, and I'll suggest it if we go to the House floor for a vote, that it, it is our leader, Donald J. Trump, for 100 days. 100 days. I told the president you may have to adjust your golf schedule, your golf game, because we'll be busy, but I think he would be willing to do it for 100 days. So are you planning on staying in that with, with his relationship with him, I'm not going to discuss with you what I talked about with President Trump other than my idea to put him up here for 100 days. So are you all planning on just staying in this room for now? Or well, I guess so. Or break up? We'll pack a lunch. Thank goodness my office is right across the hallway because I go back and forth and have me a good cigar every once in a while. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.